Las Cruces. The Lobos with the victory there, 86-72. Lewis Richardson will jump it off against Clayton Shields. Tip is controlled by Greg Schornstein for New Mexico. And David Gibson brings it over to Charles Spider-Smith and the Aggies start in that zone. No surprise, Neil McCarthy was asked if he might go man-to-man. -man. He says, I don't have anyone to match up with Kenny Thomas. Thomas with the ball, back door, Smith for the easy one. He does that so well. well. That's one of the things that NBA scouts like. Kenny Thomas, besides being able to rebound and score, he's a great passer. All right, here's Antoine Hubbard. We talked about him, and Laws gets it free inside. Enoch Davis, triple teamed in there. The finger roll is good, so we're tied at two. Well, that was pretty weak defense by both teams, the first trips down the court. Just underway from the pit. It's the rematch between the two. Clayton Shields in the corner, back to Spider Smith, trying to get something going inside, back out. Smith, that's a three. Mike, whenever the zone is adjusting towards you, they're a lot more susceptible to a little head fake or ball fake. There you saw Spider take advantage of that. Lobos will play man-to-man. -man. Enoch Davis brings it out to Antoine Hubbard. Jones Junior College transfer. That's out of Mississippi. He and Lewis Richardson play there together. Both Junior College All-Americans. It must have been a pretty good team, I'd say. I wonder if they played any defense there. You generally don't see a lot of it in Junior College anyway. Hubbard, long answer, not quite. And it's tipped back out. Hubbard gets it again. And he throws it away, and we're going to have a kick. Somebody on New Mexico kicked the ball, didn't see who it was. Boy, that was really a good kick by David Hall. I, did you see that, Mike? I mean, that was good. It was a little ballerina move by the uh, official. We had David Hall earlier this year at Texas Tech in uh, what a lot of folks thought was the best uh, officiated game we'd seen in a while. Yeah, Coach Bliss commented on that after the game, and lots of times coaches after hard losses don't like the refs. Shot clock at 20. Again, they reset it after the kick. So he's standing around right now by the Aggies. It's Enoch Davis pull up jump shot. No. Thomas with the rebound at 16 at state. Quickly down to Smith, who has a lane. He's hit, and he goes down hard. Charles Spider Smith went down hard. He was uh, undercut by one of the Aggies who is coming over to defend. And we'll get another look at it here, Nelson. See the good pass. Charles sees an opening. He is so good at that. He gets, see there, was not able to, got his feet completely knocked out from under him. You can't tell where he landed, but his teammates immediately were signaling for the trainer to hustle out there, which is not a good sign. Still down. The uh, Aggie was number 50, Carl Laws, and, and certainly not an undercut, uh, just a collision and uh, no, no harm intended there. And Spider Smith gets up. And he is holding his left wrist. And that is a little bit scary. Well, the fact that he's squeezing on it, it looks like he's, I mean, that's, uh, looks a little better, and he's able to move his hands there. Free throw by Royce Olney, who replaced Spider, is no good. Ball tipped away, saved to Gibson. Here comes Shorty for the light. And the Lobos lead it 9-2. to two. The Lobos can get a jump on the Aggies, Mike. I believe they can really get this crowd involved. And the Aggies, because of the loss, down in Las Cruces, it might not take much to get them out of the game. Hubbard walks. Hubbard can make things happen, but his assist to turnover ratio is not very good, 1.28. Timeout on the floor, 17-19 to go. And the Lobos lead New Mexico State by a 9-2 count. That's one of the things that Neil McCarthy wanted to immediately try and stop the crowd. Well, Larry Moose Stubing is in the center of your screen. David Hall on the left, and Dave Cartmill, a late uh, substitute, is on the right. And those are your WAC officials tonight. 
And we'll be keeping an eye on Charles Spider Smith. You see him right there. And nodding his head. Hopefully he's saying I'm okay. But one of your keys to victory for New Mexico at the beginning was getting off to that fast start. That's exactly right. With this crowd, especially whenever the Lobos uh, have, you know, more talent than the Aggies, uh, the Aggies could, you know, they're probably uh, not very confident after the Las Cruces game anyway. Well, it's only is now 0 for 1 on the field goal tries, 0 for 1 at the free throw line. He had 16 at New Mexico State. And that call goes against New Mexico. You don't see that very often, Mike. Royce coming in and missing a free throw and then missing a, a three back-to-back. -back. Well, you, you know, he hadn't had a chance to warm up on that free throw at all. And we'll give him the benefit of the doubt there. Hubbard in the lane again. Nearly traveled. It's on the ground. And somehow it goes to Shield, who misses the dunk. The follow is no good. And the Lobos had two, three opportunities there and couldn't get it to go. There's a three on zero. Watch this, Mike. Three on zero once the ball actually gets into Clayton Shield's hand. There's one, Gibson, and there's Kenny Thomas. Three on zero, and they're not able to convert. But that's, that's a hustle. A lot of Lobos hustling. Coach Bliss has to be happy with that. 9-2 our score. New Mexico on top of New Mexico State. The Aggies with some turnover problems early. Lobos hit their first four shots. Of course, that streak has ended. Hubbard inside, and he walks. And Mike, you mentioned that down in Las Cruces, that Hubbard, he likes just to turn and go right at it. Lots of times he doesn't do a good job of keeping his pivot foot on the ground. And the Aggies already with, a, uh, with four turnovers, the Lobos with zero. Neil can't be happy with his change in the starting lineup, and we see a couple of subs, actually three on their way in. Well, Neil McCarthy trying to mix things up. Shields takes a three-pointer and brings it. The Lobos have a couple of trays to get this thing going. It's a 12-2 game. That was a very good skip pass by David Gibson to find Shields open. Denmark Reed, he can line it up. That's off the mark, missing everything. Shields out of the pack, gives it up. David Gibson wants to get in the scoring column, in and out. Shields with the rebound and the foul. Clayton Shields, you mentioned, among the best free throw shooters in the country this year. And I hope this doesn't jinx him. He's 22 of 23, 96%. That's number one in the WAC and in the top 10 of the nation. And I talked to Clayton on that one he missed. Uh, the goal moved just a little bit after he released it. Is that what he said? It wasn't his fault. <laughs> Shooters never, ever admit it's their fault. <laughs> That's in and out. Well, uh, he jinxed him. I'm not going to take the blame. Second one is good, and we will have a timeout as Daniel Santiago gets ready to come in for New Mexico. 15.46 to go first half. The Lobos with their biggest lead. run off 11 straight points and there's Charles Smith who was injured a few minutes ago is back in. And Charles is 3 for 3 tonight and 1 for 1 on 3 point shots. And that's about in uh, 2 and a half minutes of work. Let's see if we can reset the lineups for both of you. Some substitutions in or for both teams now. Tobias Lampkin has the ball now, number 25. Boss John Lebon in. The lefty puts it up and misses badly, but he is fouled, and Lebon will shoot two. Lebon is only one of nine on three-pointers this season. He was a 40% shooter last year. Can you just lose it from one season to the next? And off, you know, clearly we're early in the season. Well, you know, one of the things I was going to say is... Uh, might have gotten better looks, but actually he should be getting better shots this year because the Aggies have more offensive weapons. Neil McCarthy in his 12th year at New Mexico State. Lebon second one no good, and it's tipped back out to Lebon. In the corner, Charles goes to hit, so the Aggies now going back into it. It's 13-6. The Lobos don't want to let this opportunity to to kind of pound the Aggies, if you will. 
This Aggie team is good enough. You give them some confidence, they'll play with the Lobos in the pit. Daniel Santiago and Kenny Thomas on the floor at the same time. Batted away. Here comes Lebon. Gives it up to Richardson. That's a good first step. Kept alive. It looked like it went off the top of the backboard. And Thomas is hit. And they gave Charles Gosa a three-pointer on that last shot, was it? I thought he was inside. Well, I, I couldn't tell because of the crowd. Whenever Kenny Thomas gets this rebound, watch how he keeps it up high, and he immediately just turns around and lets it go. Gossett keeps it up high, and he's boom, the pass. And they gave the foul that time to Lewis Richardson. And that's his second, and that's one of the uh, key players for the Aggies because uh, he's a good rebounder. He's actually their leading rebounder. Right. Leading scorer and leading rebounder. Smith back over to Olney. He'll take it, and Rice gets it going. That four three-pointers at New Mexico State. Well, I was liking the way the Lobos were setting it up. If they could have gotten the ball to Kenny Thomas, he could have dumped it down inside to Daniel Santiago. 16-6. Gosa out front, Thomas on him. Way outside, Hubbard. 16 to 9 our score, 7 point New Mexico lead. For Hubbard, that is his first basket, he has 3 points. The Aggies play what's called a matchup zone. What's the difference between a matchup and a regular zone? Oh, good feed, good feed inside. And we have a foul on New Mexico State. Can you explain that to us, Nelson? A regular zone, you just guard areas, Mike. But a matchup zone, you guard the man in your area. And if he moves while you're on him, you follow him. Okay? And if there's no one in your area, you're going to move and help. So it's basically half zone and half man-to-man. -man. Greg Shorenstein has returned, replacing Daniel Santiago. Only looking inside, trying to get the ball to Kenny Thomas. At least thinking about it. Shot clock at 28, and lots of time. Seems like they started that a little late. Nope. Only misses the long three-pointer. And there's Gosa with the rebound. Quickly down, Enoch Davis left alone. Missed the first one, he'll try it again and scores. Well, the Aggies are doing a better job on the glass, and if they'll get the defensive rebounds, it allows them to fast break, and that's something they're good at. 16-11, so the Lobos were up 13-2 to two at one point. The 11-point lead is now down to five. Well, it's going to be a while before we're back on the air with the Lobos. Saturday, January 4th, live from the Special Events Arena in Honolulu. We're going to Hawaii? I guess so. Wow. <laughs> Lobos will take on Riley Wallace and the Hawaii Rainbows in the first WAC game of the season. It'll be late night, tip-off at 1035, exclusively on your home for the Lobos, Q13, Z6, and TV10. That'll be a big game for the Lobos. That's... Uh Always a tough place to play. A lot of distractions in Hawaii. The Lobos, with their ranking, they need to win uh, those games because Hawaii can be beaten on the road. Well, they are 4-1 and one to start the season. And the Aggies, three-point shooting has been pretty good. And Charles Smith, his first shot since the injury. And that was the Aggies. That was one pass and a good shot. Their zone, that's what happened down in Las Cruces. It got tired after the first five to seven minutes. The Lobos got easier shots. Smith guarding Lampkin, and they're going to say Lampkin walked. Traveling violation on New Mexico State. Charles Smith, leading scorer in the ball game now with 10. Aggies continue to have trouble hanging on to the ball. 19-11 our score. Less than 13 to go first half. Smith again. He'll try it. It's blocked. Nice job by Gosa, and now it's a three-on-one. Bad pass by Reed, stolen away. Well, that's got to be frustrating for the Aggies. A good opportunity cut into the lead. Smith baseline, and he is fouled by Lampkin again. And that is the 15 foul on New Mexico State. That's the Charles Smith that is very effective and drives defenses crazy. He didn't have that at the Texas Tech game. He would catch it and wait for the defense to get in position. Here you see him catch it and immediately attack. 
Clayton Shields left alone on the three-pointer a little bit short. And well done by Kenny Thomas to keep it alive. Dornstein, good passing. And Smith gets his 11th and 12th points. Well, they're making it look easy offensively. A good unselfish play that time. Two quick passes. That'll hurt his own. Three. Pops the three-pointer a little bit too strong to David Gibson. Gibson biding his time, looking for an opening. Quickly to Smith. Dornstein left alone momentarily, and we have a kick on Lampkin, and they'll reset the clock. And we have a timeout on the floor. 11.54 to go. The Lobos are back up in double digits, leading it by 10. Lobo basketball is brought to you by your New Mexico Dodge dealers. State 21-11 live from the pit and in attendance tonight. Former Governor Bruce King, along with former First Lady Alice King. Now they're, they're sitting with the uh, president of the university, so I'm assuming they're cheering for the Lobos tonight. At least they had to say they were going to do that to get those seats, you know. <laughs> I guess now that he's not in office, he doesn't have to be politically correct anymore and <laughs> split down the middle. Field goal shooting now. Aggies only 10 shots. Those turnovers have really cut into their point production so far in the first half. Only from that spot, again, a bit short. And Lewis Richardson brings down the rebound. Kenny Thomas on the bench. Ben Baum in the game. Baum will play the five spot with the center position. Richardson lets it fly from way outside. Richardson's first basket, three points. It's 21-14. We've seen a lot of three-point shots. Where'd that come from? <laughs> well, he came into this ball game three of 16 on three-pointers. So he likes to shoot them anyway. Hubbard on only. Gibson looking inside, trying to get something going. Cross court, two-point drive. No. Bomb goes down hard, and we're going to have a whistle. And they'll say that Bomb traveled with the ball. That's a tough call. I mean, <laughs> Royce. Go ahead, Mike. I was going to say, I don't know if he had the ball when he landed, but and he kicked it anyway. <laughs> well, I tell you, if he gets the traveling, he ought to get a rebound. There you go. That's right, because he did have possession. Doc Davis pulls inside the arch. And Bomb gets the rebound that time. The Aggies are doing a good job of staying right there. Lobos had it up to 11 at one point. They've got it to 7, and they're playing hard. The defense still not as crisp as it was at the start of the game. Gibson, three-point try. It's been a little bit short. Good job by Shorney. Still loose. Out of bounds, and that'll be off Shields. And Shornstein, I think, rushed that a little bit. He didn't need to do that. Well, they say put it up high off the glass, you know. He was trying to shoot it off the, the 35 second shot clock. Though. And Kenny Thomas returns for New Mexico, and along with Charles Smith, so only and Ben Baum are on the bench for now. So New Mexico is back to its original starting line. Off the screen out front is Hubbard. Little hesitation, spinning. And he dished it nicely inside. And the bucket is good. And the foul on Kenny Thomas. Only the third Lobo foul, but that's whenever you can get a team in foul trouble, whenever you get the ball inside. And Kenny Thomas uh, got hit. He's off to the side. See if we can see how Kenny gets hurt here. He gets hit. Looks like the old well, offensive foul there. Cleared out with the elbow, and, and Thomas will sit down now, and Ben Baum comes in. So I, there may be a little bit of blood out there because David Hall is with one of the New Mexico State Aggies, and, and that is Carl Laws, and it looks like they're going to uh, do a little uh, cleanup over there on the sideline. It looks like on that replay that Kenny Thomas went up, arms straight up in the air, and see if Laws doesn't push off. He goes up there, see if he doesn't hit Kenny Thomas right in the mouth. Boom. I think he got cut with Kenny's teeth, and I think Kenny's bleeding in the mouth. Well, we'll, we'll let you be a lawyer during the broadcast, but I'm not sure I'm going to let you be a doctor, too, okay? <laughs> Does it pay more? 
Yeah, a little bit of a break here in the action at the pit. Mike Powers along with Nelson France. Our score, 21-16 New Mexico. And now Enoch Davis will shoot the free throw. This is that one, and I'm kind of surprised they went with Davis, although he is shooting 76%. Ben Bob's already got three rebounds in this game. If we give him that disputed one down there, which we should. Shields to Bob, decides not to shoot it, gives it up. And in and out, Spider Smith. Look at the steal, quick hands by David Gibson. He's got the Jets going, and he lays it in. Get him with the Jets, Michael. Did you see him? Jump right over Lewis Richardson. Almost late getting back, and the foul on Ben Baum. That's the second or third time we've seen that. Right now, uh, far side on the Lobo bench, still working on Kenny Thomas, and the uh, trainers for both teams have been busy. Now right now, both trainers, uh, they've got two Aggie trainers working on laws, and they've got got a bunch of people around Kenny over there. Davis hits the first one. And now they may be uh, going up the ramp. Has a look at Kenny Thomas. And maybe they figure they can stop the bleeding better up there. As Davis, Davis hits both of them. 23-18. The lead is down to five. Anytime you let a a team stay in a game like this well, they build their confidence well shields answers right back and, and clayton shields continues to shoot well from three-point range he has seven wild pass inside and they'll say it's off new mexico but uh, it looks like every time there's been a loose ball kick knocked around that it ends up a lobo walking with it or getting knocked out of bounds off of a lobo hubbard looking for some help out front to enoch davis Lobos on the inbounds will stay with the zone. Over to Reed, who is a good three-point shooter. He shot some really high arching shots down in the Pan Am Center and uh, made some big buckets. In for the alley-oop to Richardson. Shot clock at seven. Double team, hard pass, and somehow Enoch Davis got that one to go down. It's kind of in between using the glass and going straight to the rim. 26-20. <laughs> Aggies hanging around with eight and a half to go. First half. Thornstein back over to Smith. Pull up jump shot a little short. And Gosa doing a good job there on the, on the rebound. Right side, watch the dunk. The athletic layup by Gosa and the lead is four. Well, the Lobos are getting good shots. Charles Smith, good move there to this Aggie team. They've got their confidence up right now, and also they're doing a good job of rebounding and then fast breaking off the missed shots. Well, this is the closest New Mexico State has been since, I believe, 6-2. to two. And Now we have a whistle inside, 16 foul on New Mexico State, so neither team has a chance to uh, shoot the free throws yet. Timeout on the floor. Aggies... Clawing back in it. They're down 26-22. Time for this break. With 7.50 to go in the first half, Kenny Thomas up the ramp. He may have chipped a tooth or two, and he's getting that attended to right now. New Mexico State is back in this game on, on the strength of good shooting and good rebound. And with Kenny Thomas out of the game, obviously it'll be even easier for the uh, Aggies to uh, continue to out-rebound. The Lobos are up 12-11 right now in the rebound category. Lobos have missed six of eight from the field. Their last eight shots. And Charles Smith, I believe, he was five for five, and he's missed, I think, his last three. Thornstein trying to draw the defense. Shields on the baseline. May have been fouled or partially blocked. The Aggies hang on after the rebound. Hubbard hustling down. Enoch Davis left alone. Right for the rebound to Ben Bond. 
side. Shorenstein spinning back to Gibson, working it around nicely. Doesn't pay off that time, and Ben Baum knocks it out of bounds. Why Ben Baum instead of Daniel Santiago in the game right now? Because I think Ben Baum runs the floor better. He matches up on defense better. Uh, and I think, and also because he's doing a good job, he's got a, four or five rebounds so far. And uh, going in there, if he doesn't do the job, I expect to see Santiago go in. But it just makes the Lobos are not as quick going up and down the floor. The pit crowd here, it's a sellout, standing room only. A little bit nervous right now. The Lobos have things their way at 13 to 2, and we're going to have a blocking foul on Shorenstein. Right now, New Mexico State doing a little bit like Texas Tech did in Lubbock. They're happy to be only four down. They're letting their players rest a little. They're just going to uh, waste a little clock. And because they have so many guys that can go one-on-one -on -one at any time, they don't need to run their offense. And we mentioned it last week that Charles Gosa is the brother of uh, former UTEP minor Damian Gosa out of the Phoenix area. Try it again. A little bit flat, and Shields gets the rebound. He knocked Davis all over Shields. No call. Moose had moved down the floor a little bit and may have been out of position. Yeah, David Hall was on the other end. He'd already left, too. He would have scored some points in wrestling with the <laughs> takedown. <laughs> Thorny inside the bomb, muscling it in too strong. Get on Hubbard right away. That's a nice effort by Baum to take the shot at one end, miss it, and hustle back down for the rebound at the other. Well, you're stealing my line. Was I again? Usually you have to write them out, but I didn't <laughs> see that one. Turnover. And Moose Scooter calls double dribble. Royce only has returned for New Mexico, and Clayton Shields will take a break. Shields a little bit frustrated over there. Lobos with a fairly short lineup, basically three uh, guards out there, Smith, Gibson, and Royce. Uh, and then you have on the inside, uh, Shorty and Ben Baum. Any reason why we're seeing this lineup right now? I think maybe to help get back on that fast break. The Aggies are doing a good job of getting down there and getting some quick shots. All those have not scored in three and a half minutes. I'm glad I got that note in. <laughs> That's Greg Shorenstein hitting the long bomb. Shorenstein with five. The only starter not to score for New Mexico so far is Kenny Thomas. That'll bring back memories of the big three that Shorty hit against Utah. Off the glass and good. That's Tobias Lampkin, who averages six points a game over the top. 29-24. Almost showing patience on offense. Not shooting lights out. And we'll have a travel on. Smith, who lost the ball, got it back, and then shuffled. Yeah, and what happened? That referee should have been making the call. David Hall should have been because the ball was knocked out of Charles' hands. So either it was a foul or it definitely wasn't double dribble because it was knocked out of his hands. Aggies the eight turnovers. Lobos with just four, but the lead is only five right now. Lampkin at the free throw line hits it. That's the first point off a turnover. For New Mexico State, the lead is three. It hasn't been this close, I think, since we're in the Pan Am Center. It's about right. Schoenstein again, double team, trying to set up Royce Olney. A little strong, fight for the rebound. And it comes back out to Spider Smith. The Aggies have done a terrific job staying in this thing. They've been patient, really, at both ends. Especially with the way the crowd was going, the way the Lobos were playing. The Aggies were out of sync with all the turnovers. Only waves through Smith. Gibson has an opening, and we'll have a whistle and a foul on New Mexico State. 
So David Gibson will shoot the two, and that's the 17th foul on the Aggies. Resting Charles Smith here, I think, uh, maybe a little exhausted. You know, he started out on fire, uh, got got his feet knocked out from under him, and then since then he's been very cold from the field. Right, he has 12 points, but he's been stuck on that for a considerable amount of time. In and out. Gibson can't believe it. Thirty-five assists coming into this game for David Gibson, and the numbers for last week. Just a wonderful effort as he gets that second one to uh, sneak on down. An official's timeout with 3.49 to go in the first half. The Lobos up by just four. room area having his uh, teeth worked on. We were told there's a dentist up there. He may have uh, had a tooth chipped and uh, that's about all we know right now. Trainer Dave Binder has returned to the Lobo bench. Right to the left of Dave Bliss there. To Bliss's left. The Aggies shooting 53% from the field. They're getting a lot of easy shots. Lobos are struggling also offensively. Royce Alley, who had a great down in game in Las Cruces, Mike, he's one for six. Hubbard throws that one up, and that is short. Here comes Gibson. Now, since that early going, the Lobos have not had very many fast break opportunities. Oh, and you're taking it out of the net. It's tough to fast break. Only feeding Shields. Fakes, drives in, bomb, about 15 feet, in and out. Offensive rebound to Shornstein, who wants to go in. Bottom of the rim, and here's Hubbard. Out races the pack for it. Giving it to Lampkin, and they'll say no. Forget the basket, offensive foul. Watch Royce, he's going to get back, get into the paint early, and he's going to get position. Turns right there, boom. Boom, I like that. That's my Madden. That, that's good. <laughs> well, New Mexico, the Lobos lost a player today. Damian Jenkins, redshirt freshman, is no longer on the team. Dave Bliss will address that situation after the game. Former Albuquerque High Star is said to be transferring. Two and a half minutes to go, first half. David Gibson set up nicely, and he hits it. Three-pointer for David Gibson. A little breathing room for the Lobos. On the season, Gibson now with seven trays made. He was 0 for 2 on trays until he knocked that one down. The Lobos were not knocking him down like they were in Las Cruces. 33-26 our score. Gosa, a little give and go. Out to Shields, have to be careful. And only scores. The pride of TRC New Mexico with the layup. All starts with Greg Shortine. Quick pass. Another quick pass. No dribble. And immediately Royce takes it all away. If either one of those guys, Shorty or Clayton, puts it on the floor, the Aggies get back and stop that fast break. Well, that's like a drill. It's almost like a practice drill right there. And you may notice the the tattoo on Royce Olney's left arm. It's in memory of his uh, late father. Hugh Dwayne Olney, H-D-O. That's pretty neat. So the lead is finally back up into double digits. The Lobos on a nice little run here. Their defense is picking up the intensity some here too, and that's what happens. Players are more willing to scrap whenever they're shooting well. Hubbard, long range bomb, forced that shot. And somehow Schornstein comes out of there, but he throws it away. Blocked. I need a break here. <laughs> I need a break. I guess they won't give me one, but the Lobo slow it down. Well, they needed to get the ball in the hands of David Gibson. They had a lot of non-dribblers trying to make something happen. Shields, fakes. Can't win it, get it to go down on the three-pointer. Lobos look like they're a bit tired right now. 
Gosa driving baseline. Ben Bob helping out, but Gosa scores anyway. Big West freshman of the year last year. Thirty-six, twenty-eight, our score. Bomb on the baseline, back out to Only, working it pretty well. Shields thought about it. Shot clock at fourteen. To Bomb. One dribble, back out. Shot clock at six. Off the front of the rim. Now the Aggies can take the last shot if they so choose. With eleven seconds left, probably. Denmark Reed, three-pointer, yes. Bobos need to hustle down here, get it in Royce's hands, get a shot off. This will count if it goes off the front of the rim. So a little spurt by the Aggies in the final minute cuts the lead from 10 to 5 at the break. New Mexico in a struggle, leading at 36 to 31 as they go up the ramp. Stay with us on Q13 for our halftime report. We will have a news update. We'll get you up to date on the weather forecast. And we'll be back here with stats and highlights with the Lobos leading at 36 31. Biggest lead of the game was 11 at 13 2. And the Aggies' lead, their biggest, was 2 0. Of course, everyone's attention right now is focused on Kenny Thomas. Will he be able to play with the mouthpiece and the injury? Tipped out of bounds, and the Aggies will play it in. Of course, a lot of NBA players will play with the mouthpiece all the time, and, and I, I would think it would be difficult to do, especially if you're not used to it. And I guess I'm thinking that what will keep him from playing will be the pain involved. I right. think that's going to be uh, the problem. I don't know if he was given a shot or something, but... It, a dislocated teeth doesn't sound very good. Gosa with a uh, forced up shot. On the ground, the Aggies get it back. Back to Richardson for the dunk. You know, that looked a lot like the Aggies of old right there. That's exactly right. What they're doing whenever the Lobos get a rebound, if you don't pass quickly, they just go after the ball. Richardson. Shorty, I'm sorry, Shorney had it. They took it away from him. Richardson with five points. Lobos only 5 of 20 to end the first half. They scored only 8 points in the last 10.48 of the first half. Shot clock down to 11 to Spider-Smith. And it's batted out of bounds with 8 seconds on the shot clock. In the Aggie defense, the intensity is picking up. The Lobos uh, didn't even come close to getting a shot. Now they're going to have to go into their quick offense. The crowd here pretty much has been quiet since that early run by the Lobos. Shields from the corner. No good. It's tipped out of bounds. Smith. So the Aggies have a chance to tie this with a tray. Once again, you see the Lobos uh, getting their hands on the ball but not able to grab the rebound. And the loose ball is being knocked out of bounds. The Aggies get it. Denmark Reed looking inside to Enoch Davis now. Ball is on the floor. And finally, New Mexico tips it, grabs it, and very sloppy right now. Get some stick and then put on the Lobo's hands, I think. Something. Here's Gibson. Inside to Shields, who dunks it down and it's foul. That's going to be the third foul on Lewis Richardson, Mike. There's a good dish inside, a little bounce pass. Clayton goes right up, no hesitation, no fake, and didn't see much of a foul no. either, though. No, but when you take a big swipe like that, you're, you know, you risk the chance of, of getting a foul. Free throw no good, so Shields has missed two. Blocked back out, and now the Aggies are on a three-on-one break. Oh, nice block by Shields. I thought it might have bounced off Hubbard's head, but the Aggies will play it in. Now watch this. You don't want to pass the ball back, which is what he did. He had two other guys in front of him. He should have made the dish there. They could have gotten a layup. And now the referee, uh, Dave Cartmel, is talking to Shields and Gosa inside. Comes out to Davis. I think this is about the second or third time the Lobos have been in his zone and uh, they've not been very effective at it tonight. 38-33 our score. Lobos lead it 
by five. Richardson, way outside to Reed, who hits it. And the lead is down to two. For Denmark Reed in the ball game, his sixth point on a couple of three-pointers. Thomas with a look inside. His first shot is a dunk. At this best shot, I tell you though, the Lobos did a good job. I think with the zone spreading out, they need to try and look inside and get it to Kenny. Make that zone shrivel up and get all around Kenny like it was in Las Cruces. Well, we'd almost forgotten about him offensively. Playing at the defensive end, tip back to Smith. Hesitation from Spider. He'll pull it. And he continues to struggle as the Aggies bring it down quickly. Reed from that same spot. It's a one-point game. Well, the Lobos need to regroup. They had a chance to really put the pressure on the Aggies early on in the game. That's history. They're in a dogfight now. Way over to Gibson. Now to Thomas. Good position. Misses it. And it's off Thomas out of bounds. Good spin move. Once he gets it in there, their only hope is that he misses like he did then. Yeah, he, he took it maybe a little bit too far underneath the basket. 40-39 Lobos. Well, if this doesn't wake up the pit crowd, I don't think anything will. The Lobos can play a little more aggressively on defense, Mike. Read again. Don't Excuse have me. any fouls, Mike. To Spider Smith, baseline to Thomas, who was fouled hard by Gosa. So Kenny Thomas will shoot two at the line. Good and selfish play by Charles Smith, finding the big fella right there. There you see the foul. That was a hard foul, but it was a good clean foul. Right. Royce Olney checks in for New Mexico, and I misspoke earlier. I, I apologize. I, I said the tattoo was in memory of his father. Of course, his father is still very much active and a coach at Hot Springs High School. In fact, his mom, too, Liz, is a coach there, and, and the uh, tattoo is in honor of his late grandfather, Hugh Dwayne Olney. Substitution for New Mexico State. Reed is out and Boss John Lebon returns. And Mark Reed, the leading scorer for New Mexico State at nine. Thomas shooting better at the free throw line here in the last couple of ball games. Timeout on the floor. The Lobos lead it 42 39. Lobo basketball. All right, right here on Q13. The Lobos defeated New Mexico State in Las Cruces six days ago by 14 points. A different story here tonight. Leading, but only by three. Well, we talked about the second game in this series is usually closer. Before contact, Lebon took a step and traveled. And it, it's uncanny how that is. Uh, we went back through, uh, you know, the 90s and, and into the 80s, and almost like clockwork, that second game is closer. I think it's just because of pride. This is such a rivalry that uh team does not want to get swept, although there hasn't been a split in a long time. Yeah, since 1990. That is amazing. Gibson takes the set, brings it down in the corner, back out. Thomas trying to post up, wants it badly, gets it now. Quadruple team to Royce, only out front a little bit short. Offensive rebound to Olney. Second time, no. It's loose and out of bounds off New Mexico. Well, the Lobos are getting good shots, and obviously when you see Kenny Thomas in the game, he doesn't have to be scoring. But the other team just, they all swarm him when yeah. he gets the ball. They'll do everything to keep him from getting the ball. Yeah, Royce after the big game in Las Cruces is one of eight from the field, one of seven on three-pointers. This is a big game for him, the New Mexico native. He lives uh, closer to Las Cruces than he does to Albuquerque. Davis inside the arc. Offensive rebound, Lampkin. And he puts it in over Thomas. 
the Aggies, Mike, are shooting 50%, and the Lobos are shooting just 36%. That's, that is one of those amazing stats, because the Aggies generally are not a good shooting team. Shields now, in and out, and the Aggies can take the lead. The Lobos are shooting below their worst effort of the season. It was 44% against Eastern Washington, just a shade under that right now. There's a double teamed. Hubbard left alone for a moment, and he is fouled, and I think he'll shoot three. I think he's going to get a shoot free throws. That's exactly right, Mike. He's a, only a 50% free throw shooter, though, but he's only shot in four shots uh, on the year. That foul was on David Gibson just on the elbow there. And they will give him three. We're tied. It went from a 50% free throw shooter to a 60%. Now he's three for five, having been two for four. And we're going to have a 20-second timeout by Dave Bliss. And the Aggies excited, no question about it. Time now to uh, take a look back at this rivalry. We're going to go back a few years now, a Lobo flashback, and see if we can remember some of these faces in the pit. Daryl McGee, Rob Leffel with the jam. And then more Lobos right here. And Charlie Thomas with the jam right there. And, and that year, the Lobos went on to win it in the pit. Where did they get those uniforms? <laughs> Good question. That would have been the first year that Dave Bliss was here, back here in 89. And in that basketball game, the Lobos win it by a... Uh, see if I can find that here, back in the 1990. Lobos won at 94-88. Hubbard misses the second one. Are you going to keep track of his free, field, uh, free throw percentage now as we go along? Well, he's back to 50%. He went from 60 to he's 3 for 6 now. Okay. I may follow him all year. <laughs> and the Aggies have their first lead of the ball game, 43-42. And maybe their lead first year for the first time. I don't think they ever led in the pan. I don't, I don't think they did either. Charles Smith is in, and Royce Olney takes a seat. Gibson picks up his dribble to Spider Smith. And you know this Aggie defense is going to pick up intensity the longer they stay in this game. Way outside, Spider Smith. Shields, no, and it's Lebound. Hubbard will slow things down. And the Lobos have to continue to play smart. A lot of time left just because the Aggies have caught back up to them. Sometimes you want to try and do too much too soon. Good feed inside the Lampkin, and the Aggie lead is now three as we approach the 13-minute mark. You can sense the frustration on the bench for the Lobos and on the floor. Look at that zone. It's really starting to extend right now. New Mexico looking for a hot hand. Shields misses. And let's see what the call is. I think it'll be New Mexico ball off Richardson. But that's one of the few times you've seen a ball knocked out of bounds that didn't end up getting tipped by a logo. Shot clock is a fresh one now. New Mexico doing some standing around on offense, trying to figure this Aggie defense out. To Shorney. Good time to hit that one for Greg Shornstein. In the game, Shornstein with eight points, and we're tied at 45. And this crowd's starting to come alive. The Lobos could use that boost right now. And dragging the pivot foot is Tobias Lampkin. So the Lobos now have a chance to regain the lead as we see Charles Gosa return to the lineup and he'll replace Enoch Davis. 
Dave Bliss in his ninth year with the Lobos. WAC Coach of the Year last season. Lobos won the WAC tournament, finished with a 28-5 record, and won a game in the NCAA tournament. Won a game and a half. They had Georgetown down. That's how they're counting it now. <laughs> Is that right? Yeah. The turnover still in favor of New Mexico. It doesn't seem to have hurt the Aggies lately. Inside to Thomas with position, and he scores. Mike, they're not going to call a charge whenever the defensive player is standing right under the basket there. That's a good no call. 47-45 New Mexico, and you hear the pit crowd. Good help by the Lobos, and he scores anyway. So Lampkin will go to the line. Bench tonight did not start, but he's played well in the second half. See there, good, good help. Then they don't close it off. They let Lampkin cut in between two Lobo players there. The foul is on Clayton Shields, his first. And Lampkin, not a very good free throw shooter, just six of 16 on the season. There's a timeout on the floor. Lobo's in trouble, down by one. Yeah. The Aggies have 19 points off the bench. New Mexico with six, but the Aggies are shooting. You couldn't call it lights out, but doggone, it's pretty good. Yeah, 53%. Lobo's just 35%. Mike, uh, Shields and Aldi are five of 21. There's a look at the uh, difference in the first and second half. Shields in the corner. Shornstein faking it. Lobos nine of their last 33. Ice cold. And a lot of them were not great shots either. Thomas looked for the foul, didn't get it. They got blocked by the back door at that time. To Gosa. 11 minutes to go. Richardson. Save to Shields. And they'll give it up to Gibson now. Offensively, Gibson hasn't done a lot in the second half. Total of six points. All in the first half. Thrown away. And we'll have a whistle inside. Greg Shornstein with the foul. Can't waste those opportunities. 13 foul for New Mexico. Mike, when you're shooting poorly and you know the loose balls aren't going your way, the Lobos have to continue to play very aggressively and hard. They can't get soft. They can't uh, go back to the way they played at Texas Tech. I mean, they need to go in here. They're in a battle. Shorty's second foul. And Hubbard will set it up. Hubbard in the ball game, just five points, but the Aggies lead it. Shot clock at 10. Using a little of clock right now. And we're going to call a palm carrying the ball. Now, I think the reason Moose called it, the hand actually goes below the ball. And also, it looked like he may have touched it up against his hip at the same time. Good call by Moose. Smith inside, one-hander, no good. Thomas with the rebound. And finally, a whistle and the foul on Richardson, number four. Spider takes it in there. Kenny with great position there. Strong. Doesn't look like his thumb's bothering him there. He just can't get it over the rim. He has struggled a little bit when he's gotten the opportunities inside as Richardson takes the seat. Again, he has an injured thumb. He also has a dislocated tooth or two. And um, if you missed the first half, he took an elbow right to the mouth, went up the ramp. They basically pushed a couple of front teeth back out. And he's playing in the second half with a mouthpiece. They're playing pretty well right now. And the Lobos are trying to get the ball uh, into him right now, but boy, that zone is all around him. In and out, Shields offensive rebound, but lost it. And we're tied at 48. How many times have we seen that? 
16. 16 at least. Gosa, three-point try. Only fighting for it. Back to the Aggies. And the layup by Davis. Offensive rebound in the putback. Lobos are being out-hustled right now. That's exactly right. Oh, the other thing is, the Aggie zone is able to really go inside because the Lobos are not knocking down any shots. They're forcing it into Thomas again, and we're going to have a hold before any shot. And that's on Lampkin. You know, it, it's amazing. The Lobos are, are going in there, even though Kenny Thomas is being quadruple team. Literally, watch these guys all around him. There you see the foul. Good call. Lampkin moved right into Kenny. He saved a dunk. He was going up with that one. And I, I thought they gave it to Lampkin, but uh, you know, obviously our gra graphic says Gosa there, and then maybe we can straighten that out. Well, the scoreboard, they've given it to first 23, and now there is no 23. They gave it back to Lampkin, so we believe that is correct, and that would be number four on Lampkin. And now a foul out front on Hubbard as <laughs> David Hall goes uh, right into the uh, PA announcer's spot. Well, Hubbard, he's a good athlete, but you throw the lob up to Clayton Shields, Clayton's going to get that one every time between him and Hubbard. Second foul on Hubbard, and 15th foul now in New Mexico State. Less than 10 minutes to go. And a rare bad pass by David Gibson there, but the Lobos will play it in with 24 seconds left on the shot clock. If the Lobos could knock down a couple of threes in a row, it sure would make it easier to get the ball inside to Kenny Thomas. They'll bring it way back out now. Bad pass. Hubbard will hustle after it. Bounce pass to Gosa. It's blocked. And Lobos just aren't fighting after it. And now we'll have a foul on Gibson. Good hustle, but the foul. another one of those loose balls. The Lobos block the shot, but they're not able to come up with the basketball. There's Clayton just standing there. David with a good steal there. There was contact. Probably a good call, though. 50-48 New Mexico State. 9.02 to go regulation. And that's the third foul on David Gibson. Ronte Davis in for the first time. Blocked by Thomas. Gosa will try it again. Fight for the rebound. It's Gosa again. And he gets it that time. Right now, the Aggies just want it more, Mike. The Lobos, they have an opportunity to still save this one. A loss here would really uh, would hurt them. This shouldn't, shouldn't be there. Lobos should play a little harder. 52-48 State. Shields now. Now that's a big one. Three-point shot by Clayton Shields. The lead is down to one. Lobos have played a lot of minutes without making a three-point shot. That's right. Twelve points for Clayton Shields. Dave Bliss trying to urge the crowd on here. Gosa going one-on-one. -on -one. Back out to Denmark Reed, and they'll reset it. Hubbard with the fake. Beautiful shot, and they're going to count it. Royce Olney with the push. Well, you can see the frustration in the Lobo players there. Royce jumping up and down. He didn't maintain his stance, and then he put his right arm on the hip. Refs are looking for that. And that quickly quiets the crowd. They had gotten back into it. 54-51. And there will be an official timeout with just 7.50 to go. The Lobos in trouble. This is the Aggies' biggest lead of the night. Four points, 55-51, 7.45 to go. Charles Smith back in, and he has really struggled tonight. He's missed his last eight shots in a row. He's not scored in the second half. He's gone over 20 minutes without a score. Back out to Shields. Down to nine on the shot clock. 
Shornstein cranks one up and he hits it. Greg Shornstein hits the big three and the Lobos trail it again by just one. Mike, that's the second time the Lobos have gotten a big three-point shot from Greg Shornstein. Help end an Aggie run. 55-54. Smith with the steal to Shorty. Quickly down to Gibson. And he lays it in count it. Charles Smith started that whole sequence. Charles coming back here. Good save, but look at the Lobos are hustling there. Good no-look pass. Now Reed just doesn't have position, and also Gibson does not hit him square. And we're going to have, I believe it's a 20-second timeout charge to the, the New Mexico State Aggies. As we go inside the Lobo huddle right now with Dave Bliss. 178 wins, 84 losses in his uh, Lobo career. Let's go back to another Lobo Aggie game from years past in a Lobo flashback tonight. This is back in the days when the Luke, Lo Luke Longley era. Remember this one, Nelson? Kurt Miller fouled with just tenths left in the game. He had an injured hand, couldn't make the free throws, and the Lobos fall to the Aggies in the pit by one. That was Luke Longley before he had tax problems. <laughs> <laughs> Well, he's got medical problems now, and when you talk to him next time, don't let him body surf, okay? Well short on that one by Gibson, gets the rebound. Hubbard pressuring Shields back out to Spider Smith. Kornstein giving directions now. Gibson fakes, drives inside. Boy, he jumped high. Uh, Thomas with the rebound and the hold on Enoch Davis. We're in the bonus now. Neil McCarthy can't believe the call on that one, and we'll take another look at it. Nice penetration by David Gibson there. Kenny goes up. I don't think he's having problems now. He's ready to play. And there you see the foul by Enoch Davis reaching in on the rebound. It's only number one on Davis, and we're in the bonus for the first time. Gets it down, and Kenny Thomas now with nine points tonight. And all of those in the second half. He's got six rebounds already, too. Gets them both. And now I believe that gives him nine points. So the Lobos now on a 7-0 run, 58-55. Lante Davis, double zero, and we're going to have dueling 20-second timeouts right now. Oh, is that the second one for the Aggies here in a row? That's right. Well, tomorrow night at 9, it was 25 years ago that Pres Nope, I was, I was with you. I was confused. I think, I was, I'm guessing here, but I thought Neil might have just been trying to talk to him and didn't want the timeout. Working David Hall over there right now. It's been a subdued Neil McCarthy in this uh, series. Been on his best behavior here. Lobo's on a 7-0 run since they trailed by four. Smith went for the steal again against Denmark Reed. Gibson on Hubbard looking inside for Richardson. Reed. And he has been on fire. Count it. They call a foul on Charles Smith. Charles a little over aggressive that time. Big shot. Watch Reed. Whenever he catches this ball, he's ready to let it go. Feet are squared. Charles jumps into him there, catches him, and a good three-point shooter. Any contact, they fall. Celebrating the three-point try. He is now with 12 points on four three-pointers. Right at his average. And he gives the Aggies the lead on the four-point play. I say get the ball into Kenny Thomas and try and foul Richardson out of the game. That's going to be not be easy, though. Approaching six minutes to go in regulation. Shields now the three-point try. Off the mark. And it'll be 
the off New Mexico State. Once again, Charles and Kenny both had that rebound, but they knocked it loose. They're lucky just an Aggie touched it after that. Well, every time the Lobos get a little room, the Aggies come back, and they'll bring it all the way back out here to Shornstein. 5.50 and counting. White knuckle time in the pit. Glad you're with us on Q13. Smith forces it up. Too strong. With that much time on the shot clock, I think an ill-advised three-pointer. And he wasn't very open, and also it was a long three-pointer, too. Richardson going against Kenny Thomas. And he hits it off the window. That was not a very good shot, either. 61-58 Aggies. Looking inside now. They're going to have a whistle and a foul, and that'll be on Kenny Thomas. Thomas clearing out. That'll be one and one for the Aggies now. We're going to get another look at it. There's Kenny, a little push there, and there's the little big bump there. The little big bump. The little big bump. Bigger than the little, little bump. And a 22nd timeout charge to Dave Bliss in New Mexico. Lobos 15th ranked in the country. They've won 13 in a row here on the home court. But they just can't get it together offensively in this ball game. But you want to go back, what set the tone is whenever the Lobos came out and got a 10-11 point lead, and then they just started playing soft. The loose balls all started going to the Aggies. Uh, the Lobos got comfortable just taking the shot, and then whenever they all of a sudden, uh, the lid came on the pocket. They looked up, and the Aggies were back in the game. Yeah, the Lobos led it 13-2, just a couple of minutes into the ball game. And uh, since that time, it's really been all Aggies. It's cut to five, and then the Lobos build it up to ten, and then it was five at the half. And now Ronte Davis will go to the free throw line. 45.5% free throw shooter to shoot the bonus. And he gets the roll. It's been that kind of night for the Aggies. I don't know if Neil McCarthy has done much different from this game, uh, from the previous game to this game. Looks about the same. He's got his guys playing hard. All of them are sagging inside. The Lobos just are not able to make any shots. And then the Lobos are not playing aggressive like we saw him down in Las Cruces. They were ready to play down there. Second free throw is no good. Five minutes to go. 62-58 New Mexico State. Royce Olney is in for Spider Smith. Mike, watch how the Lobos are holding the basketball. Everyone who catches it holds it. Inside, the foul, and Shields will go and shoot two. Good pass by Shorney. Clayton gets it. He goes right up there, and I tell you, got the ball. I don't know how much body contact there was there. Third on Gosa, and now Shields will shoot two. He's only one of three tonight. After coming into this ball game, 22 of 23. Concerned Lobo bench. And he gets them both. The lead is now two, and for Shields, leading score for New Mexico with 14. There's Dave Bliss. Getting the crowd back into it. I'm not sure if they needed it. Four and a half to go. Reed has killed the Lobos in the second half. Number three with a bunch of three-pointers. Lewis Richardson. Blocked by Thomas. Sloppy pass, but the Lobos bring it out. And reset. For the lead. The whistle and the foul, and Richardson will shoot the one and one. Lobos had a good opportunity that time. They didn't get a very good shot off the fast break. I mean, they had Kenny Thomas inside. Gibson had a two on one with Royce there. They delayed just a little bit, and the Aggies got back. Eight 
18 fouls for both teams. Charles Smith in for Alney again. The only points off the bench tonight for New Mexico are Olney's, and he has six, but he has struggled mightily. Tim Baum did do a good job on the glass while Kenny Thomas was up the ramp. Good by Richardson. It's back up to a three-point lead. Richardson shoots about 62% from the line. Short there. And it goes to Shields. 4.02 to go. Elbows looking for someone to catch fire. Sloppy pass. That's not how you do it. Hubbard hesitates. Back out. Lobos dodged the bullet there. I'm not so sure. That's exactly right. They had one, three passed up, and then they left Hubbard all alone. 65-60 Aggies. And now we'll have an inside, and they've corrected the score. It's now 66-60, and a foul. This is the biggest Aggie lead. Foul inside, and Thomas will shoot the bonus. Only in, and Spider Smith out. It's the last time the Lobos will have to shoot a one-and-one. One. If they could somehow come up with a plan to get the ball into Kenny Thomas, he could shoot a lot of free throws these last three-and-a-half minutes. First one is good by Thomas. Kenny Thomas has taken his mouthpiece out. It was red. You could see him kind of playing with it. Wasn't comfortable. He's now just taking it out, and he's just uh, running the risk, I guess. It's good by Thomas, and that will take us to a timeout. 66-62 our score. New Mexico State with the lead and the ball when we come back. And he has consistently in the last five games, six games make that, been do doing a nice job on rebounds, 50 in the last six games. Antoine Hubbard across the timeline. Off the screen, and the whistle and the foul reaching in. Hubbard will shoot two. Well, the Aggies ran a good play that time, a screen and roll. Kenny Thomas did not get out. He doesn't jump out enough to make Hubbard go wide. He actually gets in the way of David yeah. Gibson as much as anybody. Hubbard hits the first, third foul on Shorney. And the rotation of the Spider in for Alney, and then Alney in for Spider continues. Lead back up to six. At the point now where the Lobos cannot waste any possessions. They need to come down and attack the zone. If they'll attack that zone, they can get some good shots. But they're too passive. Yeah. Too much standing just, around. That's right, standing around. Back out, under three minutes to go. Bad pass, and the Aggies get the steal. Well, I'll tell you, Charles Smith has just not had a game. As a senior, these are the games that you need to be able to go to him instead of having to take him out and sit, sit him on the bench quite a bit. Aggies will try to work some clock now. 20 seconds, 18 now on the shot clock. Lobos don't want to foul whenever you let this much clock go away. Behind the back to Richardson. Leaning in, short to David Gibson. And we will have a foul on Hubbard to stop the clock with 2.18 to go. And, that, and David's going to get a shoot the double bonus here. Uh, that's not what the Aggies want to do. They don't want to stop the clock. They want the Lobos to come down because the Lobos are wasting a lot of time before they can get a shot. Spider Smith as we see uh, Richardson take a break now. And Gibson will shoot two so far in the ball game. David Gibson with eight points. Two in the second half. And now 
at the free throw line. He's two of four in this ball game. Big free throw. The Lobos are going to have to play some defense. Though. Second try is good. 68-64, Aggies. Full court pressure. Cross court, Enoch Davis. Charles Gosa with it. Now slow things down. Lobos don't need to think about fouling. They just need to think about good defense and rebounding. The Aggies will be in the double bonus on a foul. Hubbard misses everything. Out to Olney. For three. 68-67. Aggies up by one. Lobos want to play good defense again. Don't send the Aggies to the free throw line. That ends a long drought for Royce Olney. Neil McCarthy trying to call a timeout and gets it with 1.28 to go in regulation. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Eight to go. Aggies with the ball and 20 seconds left on the shot clock. Well, what if Nick Dave Lewis is talking to him? Look, don't foul. If you foul, the Aggies are going to be in the double bonus. They just have 20 seconds, guys. Play hard defense for 20 seconds. We'll go down there and we'll take the lead. The Aggies trying to force a split in the series. The last time each team won on the road in an individual season was back in 1984-85. Double team. Enoch Davis. Lobos swarming defense now. Need to find a man. Hubbard over to Reed. Down to eight on the shot clock. Hubbard gives it up to Enoch Davis who gets the wide open jumper in and out. It's loose to Royce Olney. One minute to go. That's the first loose ball the Lobos came up with. And a foul on Charles Gosa and Gibson will shoot two. That's for David Gibson if they want. David Gibson taking it all the way to the hole here. He's going to make something happen. Now watch the body contact. There it is. Clearly a foul. I mean, no doubt. Fourth foul on Charles Gosa. And now David Gibson in a very difficult situation. Well, it's a better situation than the Lobos were in when they were down six. <laughs> Two free throws for David Gibson, junior from Albuquerque, Sandia High School. That wasn't very close. Very quick shot for Gibson, and now he goes back to the line. Gets the second one, and we're tied. 68, 68, 57 seconds left. Timeout, Neil McCarthy with 48 seconds left. My goodness. Oh. New Mexico 6-1 this season. Their only loss at Texas Tech. The Aggies are 3-2 with losses at UTEP and at home to la at last Saturday to the New Mexico Lobo. These have made a huge difference as far as the uh, rebounding edge that uh, was a disadvantage to them last week. Their field goal percentage has been around that 50% mark tonight. And that is extremely difficult to do in the pit. That's exactly right. Their only problem has been turnovers. I mean, if it wasn't for turnovers, the Lobos would be down, you know, 10, 14 points. 48 seconds to go. Regulation time. Lobos drop back now. If they are in a zone, they're still in the zone. They, they're going to try and trap if they get the opportunity. Richardson back out to Hubbard. Ten on the shot clock. They'll leave Richardson alone. Over to Reed. Three-pointer. He's hit from there. Not tonight. Kenny Thomas. And we're, we have a whistle and a foul. I think it's on State. I think it's on New Mexico State. 
Well, I'll tell you, whenever you see Clayton Shields, Roy Sony, and Greg Shorenstein all clapping, and they're only three feet from the moose, surely they're right. Let's see what the foul is. There was a push on Enoch Davis. You could see his arms extended. And now we're back to the free throw line, Kenny Thomas. Tell you, that's one of those situations I bet the Lobos would rather a foul not have been called. Because uh, even if Kenny makes both of these free throws, the Aggies are going to come down and have a chance to win the game. To win it. As opposed to the Lobos being able to go for the last shot. Knocks the first one down. Dave Bliss takes a timeout. 69-60. Not making those decisions down there. I'm glad I'm not. We're the second guessers here, but uh, well, you have one of the best, Dave Bliss. In my opinion, is one of the best coaches in the country. He's done a great job here at New Mexico, and it'll be interesting to see what he does here. Thomas at the free throw line, and right now only one Lobo, that is Shields, has lined up inside. Soso shooting for the Lobos tonight at the line. Big time free throws from Kenny Thomas. 70-68 New Mexico. The Aggies can go for the tie or the win. Shot clock is off. Richardson alone. Enoch Davis. 15 seconds left. Regulation. Denmark Reed. Down to eight seconds left. Richardson looks over, drives in, and ties it. Quickly down. Gibson will try to bring it down to get the win. One second left. It's up, and it's off. We're going to overtime. We're going to overtime, and we're going to a break. Tom Flanagan is doing an excellent job with those Lobo women. The Aggies against the Lobos have uh, dominated in overtime, and we're going to, uh, the whistle, and they're going to give the ball to the Lobos. Well, that might be a key word to give. I'm not sure that the ball wasn't hit by Greg Shorenstein. Well, maybe they thought he was uh, pushed out of bounds, so they kind of even things up. Let's see what happens now. Well, this only starts, and Spider Smith on the bench. Back to Shorenstein, looking inside for Kenny Thomas. Gibson puts that up, in and out. Inside, Denmark Reed. One-hander by Gosa is no good. Offensive rebound, and the putback by Enoch Davis. Davis with 12 points in the game. Cross court, Alney, skip pass, dangerous one to Shorney. Shields for the lead. Oh, Alney with an offensive rebound. A tip in. Might Over well, Kenny Thomas. Yeah, might as well have been a tip slam dunk. He's lucky Kenny didn't foul him on that one. For Royce Alney, 11 points now. And after struggling, he's had a couple of big baskets late in the half and now into overtime. 72-72 our score. Kenny Thomas blocks. Gibson hustling down. He has some room. And he gets it. Where does he get all that energy? Has he been on the bench at all tonight? He didn't in the first half. I don't believe he has it all in the second half either. No, he's not been on the bench at all, Mike. 74-72 New Mexico. Ronte Davis out front. Denmark Reed. Hubbard for the lead. Another rebound only, and he is fouled. And from here on in, each time we go to the line, it'll be for two shots, unless a, a shot has been made on the field goal attempt. And that is the fifth foul on Charles Gosa, who I think has played a wonderful game tonight. 
where a lot of these Aggies came in here uh, and really showed New Mexico that they're a better team than they were down in the Pan American uh, arena. What, what was a little embarrassing for the Aggies is that they just didn't rebound down there and we're seeing tonight that they can in fact rebound. Neil McCarthy, a little discussion with Moose Stubing. Moose always looks like he's moving so slow over there. And all those years in uh, baseball, coaching and managing. Royce Olney for two. Slides that one in. He missed his only other attempt, and that was in the the first half of play. Now he, uh, I'll correct myself, he's now two of three and three of four. The last time these two teams played here, you remember Nelson, double overtime. The Aggies won it after being down by nine points with 50 seconds to go in regulation. Notch Nevs, Greg Brown on that team. Oh, good dribble. Hubbard can't get it. That was one heck of a dribble to break free. He got inside there, and then all of a sudden Kenny Thomas was around there. He had to adjust his shot, and that was a big rebound by Kenny Thomas. Four-point New Mexico lead. We are in overtime. Shields back to Alney now. Shot clock down to 11. Gibson will take it again. Seventy-nine, seventy-two, two ten and counting left to go. Lobos don't want to foul now. You want to make the Aggies work a little clock. Dante Davis. And that's a big hoop from a guy who hasn't done much offensively. It's back to a five-point game. Well, you talk about quick. I mean, yeah. he did that reverse spin, and he was shooting before Kenny Thomas was able to get off the ground. 79-74. The Lobos by five. Only an early shot. Dangerous. Tip back out. Thomas inside, and they'll call an offensive foul on Kenny Thomas. Tan, that was probably ill-advised, even though Kenny had it. They had a fresh shot clock. The Lobos could have worked the ball down and gotten the clock actually under a minute, even though Kenny did have a little bit of an opening. But he's a big person. It takes a big opening. 79-74. Aggies with the ball now. They'll play it in underneath the Lobo basket with one and a half minutes to go in overtime. And New Mexico State will take a timeout now. One twenty. Back to the Kenny Thomas of old, stepping up to the free throw line. He's nine of ten tonight. Gibson with an ear steal. Thomas is looking for his third straight double double. It hasn't been done at New Mexico since Luke Longley. Then Mark Reed off the screen. We got a ball game again. 79-77. He has been awesome in the second half. He really gets his feet squared as soon as he comes off of that screen, Mike. He's ready to shoot it. Five three-pointers. We've got less than a minute to go. The Lobo lead is only two again. The Lobos need to get a good shot here. They don't want the Aggies to go down and be able to go for the win again. That's a good shot. And he hits it. They're going to give him three-pointer just behind the arc. 82-77. Oh, looked like Reed got away with a walk. Missed badly. Follow no good. Fight for the rebound, and Richardson will go to the line for two. Neil McCarthy beside himself over there. That stops the clock. 32.9 seconds left. Tony walked right before that shot, but... I tell you, the Lobos had a good opportunity to get a rebound here. Kenny Thomas doesn't get that one. He doesn't get this one either. And uh, then there's the foul there. Good call. Clearly he fouls Lewis Richardson right on the arm. But that's whenever you want to just go up and get the rebound. Ice the game. Two shots for Richardson at the line.
misses into that sea of red. Second one is good. No pressure now. Only with the ball. He doesn't want to foul. And Dave Bliss calls a timeout with 25 seconds to go. 82 seconds. 25.4 and the game clock's also 25.4. Well, I believe that's, isn't that the new game clock that they use on top of the scoreboard there? But uh, oh, Maybe so. Yes. Okay. Yeah, that, that is right. I'm sorry. They have turned the shot clock off. So the Lobos don't have to shoot it. Uh, the Aggies are going to have to, you know, go to some type of a trapping defense, go for a steal. If not, they've got to foul because they've got to do that. Stop, stop the clock. Well, I'm surprised they didn't put more pressure on and foul right away. The Lobos have took their time dribbling up. Let's see what the Aggies do now. Lobos will look, I would think, to get it to Royce only. It goes to Gibson, and David will go to the line for two. Hubbard fouls him. Well, I think you're right. You want to try and get the ball in the hands of Royce Alley or Kenny Thomas. He's 9 of 10. Uh, they had taken uh, Shorenstein out of the game because Charles Smith is a better free throw shooter than Greg Shorenstein. And a better ball handler to get it in. And now Shorney is back in. And Spider takes a break. And somehow wiggles that one in. Five point lead for New Mexico. Okay, like David Gibson, you made a good point. That one free throw he missed a while ago, Mike. That's because he didn't take his time. Took his time there, but still missed it short. 83-78, 20 seconds to go. Hubbard leaning in, short, gets it back. Richardson way outside, off the mark. Tip up is good by Lampkin with 10 seconds to go to Olney. Finally, he is fouled with 6.4 seconds to go. He needs one of them. One of them will ice the game. For David Gibson, a season high, 17 points. Still coaching on the sidelines, obviously, Neil McCarthy. Asking for Boss John Lebon now, who will check in momentarily. With Royce on the line to shoot two. Well, fans have gotten their money's worth tonight. Uh, free baseball, isn't that what they call it? <laughs> Olney's first one. No good. This is a big shot here. We're not done yet. Some of the Lobo fans, as is tradition here, leaving early, and that's... First half, and Shornstein with 11. For New Mexico State, Denmark Reed, 16, five three-pointers. Hubbard with 13, Lampkin 11, Davis 12, and Richardson with 11. Here's the big second free throw now by Royce Olney. The eyes of a competitor right there, no question about it. I don't know if there'd be anyone else you'd want to have on there. I don't know if there'd be anyone else you'd want to have on there. The answer to that is no. Quickly down. Clock has started. Lebon, no. Hubbard with .5 seconds left, and it's a two-point game, and that is the ball game. A big sigh of relief, relief from Dave Bliss and Lobo fans everywhere. New Mexico completes the sweep, but it wasn't easy. In overtime, 15th-ranked New Mexico defeats New Mexico State 84-82. We're going to take a timeout here, and we'll be back to wrap this thing up from the pit. Again, the Lobos win it by two.